Hi guys, so um, today I have my New Year haul for you. I have treated myself a little bit. I did get a couple of vouchers over Christmas which I've used um, and then when we went sale shopping I purchased a few more. I think I've got about 17 to show you. What I've done is put them on swatch sticks so I'm going to do it that way and take a closer look with you. Um, so let's get into it. Okay, so I've set up a bit of different lighting to see if it helps show these polishes off. So what I'm going to start with is what's on my nails. And this is just so pretty. Um, I was going to put on a different one that I bought, but as soon as this one came, I had to wear this one. And this is Butterflies uh, from H&M. It's a really difficult colour to describe because in some lights it looks quite gold, in some lights it looks bronze and in others it looks like a rose gold. Um, I'm really glad I picked this one up. So there it is on the swatch stick and you can see it's really sparkly as well. At first I thought there was a little bit of hollow in there but I don't think there is. So that's the first one. Next up I purchased from H&M was Lapis Lazuli that's how you say it um, basically I, I've just heard so many people talking about this one that when I was on the website and was looking through them all um, I thought I'd pick this one up and give it a go and it's a really lovely royal blue um, I do like wearing these sorts of blues so I am quite looking forward to um, to trying that one on next up from H&M was a little bit disappointed in this one it's called Bleached Peach and I was hoping it was going to be um, like a, a sort of off-white peachy sort of colour which would have been a cream but it is actually like, it's like a jelly and it's very sheer. Um, it's the type of thing that I'd probably use if I was doing a French manicure or you, it'd be good for, for doing some negative space um, nail art so... Um, I will use it, I was just a little bit, it wasn't quite what I was expecting. This is the only trouble with ordering them off the internet, um, is you can't, you are never always sure what you're going to end up with. But, never mind. Uh, the next one was Power to the Purple, which looks on camera, <laughs> looks blue, but I promise you it is purple. However, it is quite a dark purple, I have to say. Um... So there it is on the swatch stick. Yeah, it is, it is it is dark, but it is. If I show you it against, see, it looks more purple now. If I put it against that blue one, um, so that's that one. Next up is this uh, pretty ugly colour actually, and it's called highbrow brown. I get drawn towards these musty, funky colours sometimes for some reason, um, and it did look slightly lighter online. But still, it's quite a nice colour. Um, it's this one here. As you can see, it does come out quite dark. And then finally from H&M, I picked up Space Race. It's just gorgeous. And I've heard a lot of people talking about this one also. Um, and how good the hollow is. I have got um, the infamous harp on it by Colour Club. Um, so I could do a comparison with these two, although it's quite hard to do it on swatch sticks and things. Um, but here's this one on the swatch stick, you can see there. Uh, most of these, apart, the creams and this one were all two coats, but the other two, so butterflies and bleach peach, these two here were three coats that I used on those ones. Okay, then my biggest splurge, because I had a voucher for John Lewis, um, were these Marc Jacobs polishes. I've wanted some Marc Jacobs polishes for a while after seeing Miss Holly Berry's talk about some of them. Um, this one is called Purple Glaze. I was a little bit disappointed as I thought, again, I thought this one was going to be a cream, but is it jelly? It's a nice jelly and I will use it, but... Um, for the money I was a bit disappointed, um, they're not cheap polishes, but the formula and everything is lovely and it's a nice colour. So that was, that was the first one and the second one is called Petra 
and it's sort of this purpley browny uh, another one that's a funny shade to it describe um but it is nice i, I was going to put this one on until i saw the h&m butterflies one um so there it is on the swatch stick i will be wearing this one soon because i can't wait to see what it looks like on the nails so that was my second Marc Jacobs. Um, I probably would buy more, but only if I had a voucher. I don't think I'd spend my own money buying them because they are so expensive. <laughs> but they are lovely. And I don't think you tend to see them on sale over here either. So next up is a Sally Hansen Insta Dry. Um, the formula I've got on my other Insta Dry is a little bit thicker actually. Um, this one is called Lively Lilac. And it's this pretty lilac-y colour. It's got, you can't, I don't know if you can spot it actually. Let's see. Yeah, if you can see there, it's got like this sort of pinky flash through it, which is what made me pick it up. Uh, I don't know if it'll pick that up on the nail. That will be one to, to find out. Then I picked up a couple of the original Extreme Wears. This one is crushed and it's, it's it's almost it's like a ready orange actually uh, when I swatched it on the stick and it's quite it's almost a jelly uh, it's quite sheer really um, so it's not one of their cream ones but they're the last uh, there's only a couple of these in the shop where I go that are the original formulas left so I just thought oh, I'm just going to pick them up um, the other one I picked up was this one which is spark in the dark and is this golden black glitter topper there's a few different shapes of glitters and things in here actually um, as you can see but that's quite a pretty one um, yeah I quite like toppers I it's actually it's when you come to getting it off that's what puts me off wearing them a lot of the time but maybe this year I can, can give them another go. Um, okay, next up we've got some Barry M's. So I picked up this Speedy Quick Dry one. I, this is the first one I've got in this formula. And it's called Supersonic. Um, it's, a, it's a bit of a blurple actually. Um, again, this one was a little bit sheer as well. I thought it was going to be a bit thicker. But it is a nice one and this has got sort of a flash through it which I don't think you can see um, maybe slightly there a bit of a pur it's a purple flash through it but it is a quite it is quite a blurple colour in general um, then I thought this was a molten metal that I've been looking for a while but I don't actually think it's the one that I was looking for but I picked it up anyway um, this one's got you can quite evidently see the silver in this one and it's called, where's the name, Purple Frost. Um, I, just, I just enjoy these colours. But I'm sure there's another purple one that isn't this one. That is the one that I probably was actually looking for. Uh, but anyhow, I picked up this one instead. And they're on three for two, so I got a third. And I tried one of their chromes. I tried Glow Crazy, um, which I think... I think Nika put this on recently on her channel, um, but this is this was really good. Oh look, I've got polish. I think I've got polish on the bottle there. Um, I was really impressed with this one actually, so I may pick up um, some more of these liquid chromes if I can find the other Barry M's that I want. I have got some points on my boots card which means I could use those to pay. <laughs> so that would be quite good as well. Um, but yeah, that's that one. As you can see, it's not really... You can usually see the streaks, but this one just went on really lovely. Um, yeah, I really like that one. And finally, I've got three sinful colours that I picked up. Um, the first one I picked up is called Pumpkin Spice, and I'm sure I've seen this... Maybe on Sunday's Halloween or Autumn Picks, and I can't remember who it was, so I'm sorry. Um, but if you're watching this and it was you, let me know. Um, but I thought, so I picked up this ready for, for next Autumn and Halloween. Um, just a really pretty glitter in a, in a clear base. 
it's like a, a gold and red sort of what other colours are in there? Bronzy colours. Um it's a glitter topper. The next one I thought was going to be a glitter topper, but it's actually in a jelly base and it's called Lively in Lilac, which is this, you can see it looks really sparkly there, but um on the swatch stick I don't think it's captured the sparkle quite as well. No. So as you can see it's in like a, a jelly base and I think the jelly base takes it sort of hides the colours. Um so I'm not sure how I'm going to wear this or what I'm going to wear it on top of yet. Um we shall see. Uh, I might have to try this in a few different ways this one. And the last one was one of the Kylie uh shimmer matte ones um this one is called buttercup i'm pretty sure i don't have this one i haven't actually double checked yet um because i have bought a few of these lighter shades of these ones because they're really pretty um and like i said i do like a yellow polish but i would wear um i would top coat these i'm not a fan of of the matte finishes uh so there's that one so that is all of my purchases for new year Thanks for watching that guys. Uh, let me know if you've got any of the polishes and what you think of them. Um, don't forget to leave a thumbs up and keep on subscribing and I will see you soon. Bye.